here we are with what I'm calling the forever clock and it's a standard digital clock there quite a nice large display uses a solar panel going to a circuit and then to a polyacene cell and it all comes from the thinking what to do besides running an LED on something like this which is the uh, which is a forever light and in fact you can see the light there reflection of the room light and that will be charging that slightly but uh, yeah they just run on ambient light no sunlight needed and it looks like after a week of testing that this thing will just keep on going uh, oh I've got it uh, balanced here on a piece of tape just to show there's no shenanigans on the back it just goes directly to the leads uh, to the connections so there we go here's the circuit for it and it uses a C1815 the GR variety of that transistor got a 1M4148 uh, that's going to the polyacene cell but it could easily as well be a germanium which would cut down on the voltage loss to that the L1 and L2 coil is 120 turns of 34 AWG and that's on a ferrite core so uh, there we are that's the forever clock and it's been running as I say for about a week so looking good